alternative forms of k. The value of k, the equilibrium constant, depends on the form of the chemical equation. You can see here in this sample table that for a generic chemical equation, A moles of A plus B moles of B is in equilibrium with C moles of C and D moles of D, the equilibrium uh, constant can be calculated and let's say it's K1. Now, if we were to uh, switch the order of this reaction and start and write the reaction with the, um, in the opposite direction, starting with C moles of C plus D moles of D, to give A moles of A and B moles of B, the value for the equilibrium constant would be different. As a matter of fact, that value would be the reciprocal of the original equilibrium constant that would have been calculated for the first example. This makes sense because remember K tells you, for example, if it's greater than 1, that it's going to be a product favored type reaction, and if you reverse the way you write the reaction, well then you need to express the K in that particular way because now the K would be less than 1 and it would indicate the same thing, that the C and the D are the favored products. Uh, another uh, thing to watch out for is a equilibrium constant may be given for a particular uh, chemical equation balanced in a certain way, and if the equation that you are working with is balanced in a different way, say the entire equation is still balanced, but you've multiplied through by some factor, in this case it's n, then in, so too the value for the equilibrium constant k, now for this equation we're calling it k3, is going to be uh, the original uh, value of k raised to the power of the coefficient. Finally, if you uh, are looking for a particular reaction, such as uh, the sum of these two reactions, A moles of A plus B moles of B in equilibrium with C moles of C plus D moles of D, that's the sum of these two reactions, um, but you only have equilibrium constant data for uh, the first reaction, which includes the ENF term, and the second reaction, which includes is a, an F and an E type of reaction here. Um, if this is the case, then you can, um, you can um, calculate the value of K for this er reaction here, the sum of the reaction, uh, by multiplying together the product uh, of the two um, equilibrium constants for the individual reactions, as is stated here. Let's take a look at an example to see how we can manipulate the value of K. In this case, say you're given some uh, equilibrium data for the synthesis of ammonia. The chemical reaction associated with the synthesis of ammonia is uh, one mole of nitrogen plus three moles of hydrogen are in equilibrium with two moles, excuse me, with two moles of ammonia. That's the balanced chemical reaction. We can calculate the value of K for this particular reaction knowing that K equals the concentration of the product raised to the power of the coefficient divided by the concentration of the reactants, each raised to their own coefficient. Now in this case, the particular K that I'm calculating I'll call Kc because I know this is a gas phase reaction but I'm using the concentration data for this particular calculation. Then I can just plug in the equilibrium concentration values um, into this expression to calculate the value for K. Okay, and in this case, the value is, um, for K at this particular temperature, whatever this data was collected at, is going to be um, 3.1 times 10 to the minus 2 divided by, uh, raised to the second power, excuse me, divided by 8.5 times 10 to the minus 1 power. Um, divided by 3.1 times 10 to the minus 3 raised to the third power. There we go. And um, when you stick those numbers into your calculator, the value for Kc that you get here is 3.8 times 10 to the fourth. All right, now let's say that somebody else has balanced this equation differently and they have multiplied through the equation by 1 half. Now we need to calculate the value of K because this K is uh, corresponds to the way we previously balanced the equation. So if I multiply the whole thing through by one half, it's going to be one half N nitrogen plus three halves hydrogen 
is in equilibrium with um, two halves, which is the same as one uh, moles of ammonia. All right, and so the value of K now, the um, <clears throat> Equilibrium expression is going to be equal to, uh, let's see, the concentration of ammonia at equilibrium raised to the one power divided by the concentration of nitrogen at equilibrium raised to the one half power divided by the concentration of hydrogen raised to the three halves power. Okay, so let's call this Kc prime because I've changed my, um, my equation, so I'm going to have to change my K. You can see that this particular expression looks very much like our, our expression for Kc, which was NH3 squared over N2 times H2 to the cube power. The difference is, is all the coefficients are, are uh, divided by 2. So in this case, when you have a, um, a, a coefficient that's different, or you've multiplied by a factor all the way through, then the new value of k is going to equal the old value of k raised to whatever that factor was. So in this case, the k prime is going to equal, will only equal kc if I take, raise the kc to the power of one half, because that was my factor, okay? So now in this case, the kc prime equals the original k raised to the one half power. So I could plug all these uh, original uh, equilibrium concentrations in, raise them uh, to the appropriate powers, do the division, calculate Kc, or I can just take the Kc that I had already had, which was 3.8 times 10 to the fourth, and raise it to the one half power. And in this case, when I do that, the new value of Kc prime is equal to 3.8 times, whoops, that's what it was before, excuse me. The new value is equal to 1.9 times 10 squared, okay? So watch it. The value of K is going to depend on how the equation was balanced. Um, the last example, then, to show how K is dependent on the form of the equation is to look at the reverse reaction. The decomposition of ammonia is, equal, is in equilibrium with uh, its elements, which would be um, nitrogen plus 3 three moles of hydrogen. So this is the way we write the decomposition. Now in this case, let's call this um, Kc double prime is equal to um, the concentration of nitrogen times the concentration of hydrogen at equilibrium cubed divided by the concentration of ammonia at equilibrium squared. Clearly, uh, if I plug in all those original equilibrium uh, values, the uh, value is going to be different my, than my original K it's, it's the actually, this looks like one over um, our original um, equilibrium expression, which was this, N2 times H2 cubed. So in this case, what happens is the value of Kc double prime is simply equal to one over the original Kc. So if you change the order of your reaction and go from uh, what was uh, products back to reactants instead of reactants to products, then the value for that equilibrium constant is simply the reciprocal of the original um, value, and the original value was uh, 3.8 that we calculated 3.8 times 10 to the fourth. So this would be 1 over 3.8 times 10 to the fourth, and that equals 2.6 times 10 to the negative fifth as our new equilibrium condition for the reverse reaction.